So at the end of the previous video, what we'd just done is installed Mono Develop, and then we decided to take a break since we had done 12 minutes worth of stuff. Um, now I want to show you some, some cool stuff that we can do already. Um, gedit is going to be your text browser. Let me show you two things, okay? Um, so if I hit tab here, this is this is in my documents folder. Actually, let me... If I want to, if you want to remove a file, the command is rm. I'm going to get rid of this executable, and now I've just got some source code in my documents folder, and I created it while you weren't looking. But let's look at it using gedit. Okay, and now I want you to notice that when I executed this command, now my cursor is locked up. I can't type anything because um, this terminal is being used to run this program. All right, so let me show you something uh, that's useful. Hit Control C. That will kill that will kill the gedit instance. And now I'm going to end it with an ampersand, and that gives me my cursor back. So, see now I can continue entering commands here if I if I want to. Um, up here I have just Hello World written in C++. So I just wanted to, you know, as a little digression, show you how to compile C++ and Unix. That can be useful. So here's your standard Hello World program. I'm going to come down here and I'll type G++ hello.cpp, and it will compile it. And what happened is it, it produced this green file as an executable a.out. Um, if you want that to have a, a better name, you can you can say what the output name should be, like uh, prog, uh, or something like that, and and now it's created an executable called prog. At any rate, what you do to run that is do dot forward slash and then the name of the executable. So let's run prog, and it says hello world, which is great. All right. Um, so now that we've we've written a C plus plus program, let's write a C sharp program. And so I'm going to cheat a little bit. By the way, some things that I do in this video are not going to be super elegant. I apologize for that. Um, so here I, I googled hello world C sharp and I got this code. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it back in my Debian uh, distribution. So um, I'm going to save it and let's just call this hello.cs. And it wants a, a folder, so let's say documents. So I'm saving it as hello.cs, and you can see that gedit is smart enough to do uh, syntax highlighting once it knows the file extension. CS stands for C-sharp, so it is important to use that because you get this nice pretty text. Um, so you can see all it's going to do is system console write line, and so let's see if our if our mono develop is, is working correctly. So we can do dmcs, actually let's make sure that dmcs is installed, we can say which dmcs and then it says that it's this one, so it, that means that it's installed, which is good. So we'll do dmcs hello.cs, and then it compiles the file, and what happened? We got hello.exe. So you can run that two ways. One way to run it is to say mono hello.exe, and so it says hello world. Another way to do the same thing is just to do this, and it says hello world. Um, so mono develop, I I never use it, but I think it comes it comes with this whole huge IDE. Um, right, I just spelled it wrong. And um, if you want to, this thing is supposed to be sort of like Visual Studio for Linux. I never use it, um, but you can use it if you want to. So I'm just telling you that it it exists. Um, so what else? So now let's start let's start loading some of the database stuff that we need to we're going to write C# -sharp programs that interact with the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my SQL onto my system. And so I need some help with this. So I've googled several things. Let, let me just erase these and maybe start from scratch. So what do I do? I'm just going to google mysql uh, debian and what comes up is I click here, and here are some instructions. It says you need to install these packages. One is MySQL server, and one is MySQL client. So I will do both of those things now. Um, so I say sudo apt-get install MySQL. If you want to see all the MySQL packages, you can hit tab a couple times. 
Um, and you can see there, there are several possibilities. So I'm going to install server and also MySQL client. And let's just do that. And now I type the root password. And there they go. And so it's going to take 94 megabytes. La la la. Now this is the, the MySQL root user. Um, so you want to remember this. I'm just going to make it the same as all the other passwords on my system. OK. So just a little bit left to do. I don't think this takes too much longer. What are we going to do after this gets done anyway? So let's see. Um, I've been through this before. Uh, I'm going to run this command. And then this one, it turns out, is, is obsolete. But I'll show you what to do instead. It turns out you don't need to run this at all. Um, and maybe I, sh I should zoom in so that you can actually see it a little bit better. So let me just get some things loaded ahead of time. So um, if you try to run that, you won't be able to. But let's see what the modern thing is. Um, uh, that's not what I wanted. OK, I can't run that. Uh, there's too much to read. Yeah, and this I think is what I want. Here it is. Um, so that's obsolete. What you should really do is MySQL upgrade. Um, sometimes SQL is pronounced as SQL. So let's see if it's done. OK, yes, it is. So I'm going to paste this, and you need to do that as sudo. Is that right? Maybe not. Um, I'm going to do user root and dash p because I want it to prompt for a password. And I'm going to enter the root password for MySQL. And it says uh, running, could not create the upgrade info file. That's probably because I didn't run it as root. Let me try this sudo. Um, OK, it just says that it's already upgraded, so that's great. And now let's see if MySQL is actually running. I never I never started it, so I'm going to run this command. And maybe sudo. All right, so it's already running. So we just installed uh, MySQL, and it's already running. So we've done quite a few things in this video, so I think I'm going to stop this.